Hi Aries, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I'm going to be doing your November 2017 monthly reading. I have pre-shuffled these decks for you so I'm only going to shuffle them for a moment. This may or may not resonate as it's for hundreds and thousands of people. This is for the sign of Aries. This is for the sign of Aries. I'm just going to zoom this in real quick. Wow, that looks good, doesn't it? Wow, it looks really, really, really good. It does for this month of November. It looks like uh, the basis of your reading is the Knight of Pentacles. Like things are moving, okay? They may be moved. It's very steady, okay? Things are moving steadily. It's like things aren't being rushed. You have a plan, okay? And the plan is in motion, all right? And it's a very stable plan, whatever it is, Aries. You've come up with this plan. It's moving forward, and it's stable and secure. And there's, it's like there's no hurry, all right? I feel like many of you are could be talking about moving or thinking about moving. There could be some discussion of travel even, but I think many of you are thinking about moving. Um, there's a lot of love here in this reading, okay? Um, there's commitment too. I mean, there's commitment. There's happiness. There could be an end of... Um, a relationship, I have to tell you. There could be an end of a relationship where, um, or an end of strife in a relationship, and then all of a sudden, or not all of a sudden, but there's a period of um, rebirth, okay, in a relationship. Or there's a complete ending of a relationship. There is a soul connection, okay? I think that you, you are right here, have a deep soul connection with somebody, okay? And it really, you know, I'm thinking it could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, or a Cancer, um, Pisces, or uh, Scorpio. Or this could be the completion of the relationship with one of those people, um, there could be a little bit of boredom, all right, and you're just you're that that's it could be an a uh, a um, end of a relationship because tens are completions, all right. We for for and you, it could be ending one phase of your life could be ending because you have this new found um, love. Okay, because I do see love here, and I see a lot of it. So I think we have this, I think it looks like some opportunity has been presented or will be presented to you for new love, okay? A beginning, all right? A very happy, blissful time in your life, all right? But I think it's after a completion of some sort in regards to a relationship. I just think that many of you are starting a new chapter altogether, a brand new chapter. And you've had this plan, all right, and it's finally happening, okay? The plan is in motion, and I think it's moving forward. I don't think it's rushing. I don't think it's impulsive. I don't think it's unsteady. It's very steady, okay? It looks like, um, I think wish fulfillment is right around the corner, believe it or not, okay? I feel like you may feel like, you know, there's been some boredom, there's been like a non-attachment in your life, and that in the future, um, I think you're moving away from that. I think that 
you're moving to a more calm, peaceful, tranquil time, okay? Um, I think there's some hidden forces, okay, this month. There's something going on behind the scenes uh, from the universe, okay? There's something going on behind the scenes that you just aren't aware of, but it's working in your favor, okay? Um, I do th see that many of you have these desires that you're probably chasing, you know, and I don't think you're running after them, but you are working on achieving the desires and you're but you're doing it you're not like I said you're, I shouldn't have said chasing okay you're chasing them but you're not running okay you have these dreams of the future and these dreams involve a soulmate okay um, and love and romance because I think where you've been there's been a lack of romance there's been a lack of excitement and many of you are looking for more and I think that the that this wheel here is gonna turn in your favor all right this is for Aries I see that you're very stable secure um, practical but I think that there's some fear fear of the unknown fear of what's gonna happen next and you're trying to make sure that everything has been planned and planned well because you don't want any surprises. Okay, look at the cards dropping out. I see many of you are taking the lead in a situation, okay? And I see a transformation for some of you. Like I said, this may or may not resonate, and it, some of it may resonate over here and not over here, you know what I'm saying? So I do believe that some of you haven't been getting the attention that you desire. And so you may be looking in another direction, okay, and thinking about how you're going to get there. You may be thinking about somebody from your past, somebody that you grew up with, or just reminiscing about the past before you even met this person you're in a relationship with and how, you know, you just want to go back there. Many of you just want to, like, go back and start over again, okay, with somebody else or even maybe somebody from your past. All right. I just see that there's one completion and it may not have completed yet because you're still working on the plan. The plan has been made, but you're, you know, you're doing it the right way, the very practical approach. But and you're doing it because of desires that you have. And many of you may have even sought some counseling, maybe it may be any, you know, it could be, um, counseling from you know your neighborhood or whatever or it could be spiritual counseling or it could be you know inner inner counseling from your inner guide or from your spirit guides i think many of you have been seeking guidance okay because of the feelings that you have i think many of you are feeling lonely okay so i think that you've been seeking guidance on what to do next um, but I do, also, not only are you seeking guidance, you're taking action, all right? That's how, because you've been building the plan. You've been making the plan to do the right thing for you. And this may involve some legal matters. So many of you, you know, you have this desire to change, but you don't want to deal with the legal matters. But this card comes out to say that there's going to, there may be for some of you, some legal matters or this legal matter could be within yourself doing the right thing for you. That's what happens when the justice card comes out. She says, okay, are you going to, are you going to do the right thing for you? Are you going to be honest here? What is the honest truth in this situation? All right. What is the honest truth? The truth is, is that you have desires and they are not being met right now. This Five of Swords, this is about disagreements and tension, all right? There's been strife, and you're done with it. You're just like, you know what? Just, I can't do this anymore. Just go. Go ahead. And, go ahead. I can't, I don't want to do this anymore. But this fear is, you're still... You still have this fear of the unknown. You do. I'm 
Many of you are making a plan to travel or move or thinking about it. And a lot of you are thinking about the good God's honest truth is and you fill in the blank. This month is about the plan, okay? The plan that you are making. That is the basis of your reading. Steady, secure. This Knight of Pentacles always has a plan and it, and it always is successful because he came up with a plan. He didn't, it was not impulsive in any way. He came up with the plan. This one, doesn't always get the outcome. They act. This night acts before they think. It's act now, think later. This one is think now, act later. That is the basis of your reading. You are making the plan for change based on your loneliness this month. I see that there is forward movement with this chariot. There's forward movement. Things are starting to move a little bit faster. Finally. But it's not impulsive. Okay, so this month I think things are moving regarding the plan that you have made. And I think that you've been receiving guidance, you know, that's helping you on this plan. I think this month maybe you're taking action regarding the plan because this is taking, but finally maybe you've decided, all right, it's time for me to take some action. Yeah, you've, you've made the plan here. Here, you've, this is act now and this is movement. So many of you are saying, okay, it's time for me to What's the word? Um, act on the plan. You know, it's time for me to put the, the wheels in motion. So maybe this month, you're really putting the wheels in motion. Act now. Get moving. This is putting yourself in the driver's seat. That chariot is. And let me tell you, it's a victory with the chariot. So keep going. Whatever your plan is, you maybe you just want to act on it. I the fear is holding you back. Oh, cleanse and detoxify. Hmm. This is for Aries. You know what? You know what? I forgot a deck. We're gonna put that right back over there. I wondered why it was so short. Look at that. We almost forgot a deck. Whew. Glad I caught that one, huh, aren't you? We wanted to get this one too. I'm not done shuffling yet. This is just more clarifiers. There's your inner guide again. Well, I say inner guide, but it could be somebody from above. It could be counseling. That is also focusing on your path. When the hair font comes up, also, it means that it's time for you to believe in yourself and focus on your own path. And you do that by having strength. Okay, and this right here is taking action. So this is just reiterating what I was saying. Take action. You have the resources. Don't be afraid. Use your inner strength. It's going to take confidence and courage, okay? And don't let your ego get in the way, okay? Because, you know, there's pride here. This is the, this is, uh, the nine of wands. Justice again, doing the right thing for you. Again, this is about legal. If you're worried about legal matters, realize that you really have, there's, this, there's success here. You have all the resources to succeed. You do. Let me get the last one. King of Swords. Be honest. 
Oh my God, we have, you have to be honest with yourself, okay? If you're lonely, if you're not getting the attention you desire, if you're not happy, whether it's at work or in your love life or wherever it is, this is clearly telling me that you have to take action. You've already come up with a plan. All you need to do is act on it. And it takes a lot of courage to do that. A lot of courage. You have a lot of life experience behind your back. Use it to your ability. Use it. Be honest. Even if it hurts. And this is be honest. You have a lot of be honest here. Not that I'm not saying that you're a liar. Be honest with yourself. Now we're ready. Cleanse and detoxify. With great love and respect, we ask you to detoxify your precious and sensitive body. At your request, we'll help you to develop life-affirming ways to deal with stress, as well as ease any sorrow at shedding your old ways. And this was going on. That's what it's time. This card came out for a reason. It is absolutely time for you to shed the past. You want it. You know you do. You know you do. I know you do. Give your cares, worries, and concerns to us, the angels, and feel the beautiful grace of your newly purified body. The angels can heal you. All you have to do is ask and believe. And they don't. And the thing is, is when you go in there and ask, Try to do it in silence and don't give it five minutes. Give it a half an hour or an hour with them and just see what happens. Try it. Cleanse and detoxify. Make it part of your plan because I see you guys have a plan. All I got to do is put the plan in action. Wheels in motion this month. Talk to you later, Aries.